Assalamu alaikum. We are in reading about the life of our Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that we can understand what Allah Ta'ala commanded we as Muslims to be and how we should conduct ourselves. Before I continue reading, I would like to again read from the book Ethics of Islam. The dominant factor that leads human beings into self-love is ignorance and unawareness. That's called gaflet. Since self-love is a vice, we must get rid of it. In order to get rid of self-love, one should ponder that all kinds of good and useful deeds and faculties, that is intellect, mind, and knowledge, were given to him so that he should do good deeds or worships with them. Let us continue. The small dome which was constructed with the pentagonal wall is called the Kubat An-Nur. The Kiswat al-Sharifa sent by the Ottoman Sultans Rahimahum Allahu Ta'ala was laid on that dome as a cover. The big green dome which is over the Kubat An-Nur and which is called the Kubat al-Khudra is the dome of Masjid Asada. The Kiswa on the outer side of the grating known as the Shabaka Asada used to be hung from the arches supporting the Kubat al-Khudra. These internal and external curtains are known as Satara. The Shahaka, Shabakat Asada was three doors, one on each of the east, west, and north sides. None except the directors of the Haram al Sharif could enter the Shabakat Asada, and no one can enter inside the walls since there is neither a door nor a window. There is only a small hole covered with wire gauze on top of the dome. Just above this hole is the hole in the Kubat al-Qudra. The dome of Masjid al shari was gray until the year 1253, when it was painted green by order of Sultan Mahmud Adli Khan. It was painted again by order of Sultan Abdul Aziz Zan in the year 1289. No one has spent as much money and effort as Sultan Abdul Majid Khan ta'ala, to repair and embellish Masjid Sahada. He spent 700,000 gold coins to restore the Haramain. The restoration was completed in the year 1861. Sultan Abdul Majid Khan ordered that a model of the early form of Masjid Ad Nabawi be made and put in the Hurka Sharif Mosque in Istanbul. No major Hajj Izzet Effendi Rahimallahu Ta'ala, a professor at the engineering school and an engineer and designer, was sent to Medina in the year 1850. Izzet Effendi measured every dimension and constructed a model 1 53rd of the original and sent it to Istanbul. The model was placed in the Khurthi Sharif of the mosque, which was built by Abdul Majid Khan. Following repairs by Abdul Majid Khan, the distance between the Qibla wall and the Shabakat Asada became seven and a half meters. From the eastern wall to the grating of the Qadam Asada became six meters. The width of the Shabakat Ashami became 11 meters, and the distance between the Muhajahat Asharifa and the Shabakat Ashami became 19 meters. Width of Masjid An Nabawi on the Qibla side became 77 meters, and its length from the Qibla wall to the Damascene wall became 117 meters. The Radat Al Mutahara which lies between the Khadrat al-Sa'ada and the Minba al-Sharif is 19 meters wide. After the Ottomans, there have been several changes made to these sacred places and thus the invaluable historical artifacts that our ancestors had constructed have been demolished and pillaged. It is mustahab, an action which is liked by Allah Ta'ala, to go visit the Baki cemetery after visiting our master Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's grave. Then you visit other graves, especially the grave of Hadrat Hamza, who is the Sayyid Ushada, the master of the martyrs. 
Also, you visit there the graves of Hadrat Abbas, Hassan bin Ali, Zainal Bidin, and his son Muhammad Bakir, and his son Jafar Isadik, Amir ul Mu'minin, Hadrat Uthman, our Master Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi son Ibrahim, the blessed wives of our Master Rasulullah, his paternal aunt Safiya, and many more companions, and the people from Tabian. You perform namaz in the Fatima Mosque in the Baki Cemetery. It is mustahab to visit the martyrs of Uhud on Thursday. There you recite the prayer, Salamun alaykum bima sabratum, fani ma uqbada. Salamun alaykum ya ahla da il kaim il mu'minin wa umnina. Insha'Allah ta'ala qaribun bikum laykun. Then he recite the Ayatul Kursi and Ikhlas Surah. Those who visit the Hudri Isadat should be very vigilant and not have worldly thoughts in their hearts. They should think of Muhammad Alayhi Nur and his high status. Prayers made by these thinkings of worldly affairs of ingratiating themselves with people of high rank or of trade will not be accepted. They will not attain their wishes. Visiting the Hudri Isadat is a very honorable worship. It is feared that those who do not believe this may go out of Islam. As a matter of fact, they will have opposed Allahu Ta'ala, his messenger, and all Muslims. Although some Maliki scholars said that visiting Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was wajib, it was unanimously said to be mustahab. Tawasul People making tawassul to make someone a wasina intermediary to ask for his help in prayers, praying to Allah Ta'ala through his intermediation, and to beg for death with Iman. With our Master, the Prophet, all the time before and after his creation, during his lifetime, and after his passing away, and during the life of the grave, and shall make tawassul with him at the place of Asarat. After resurrection on the Day of Judgment and in Paradise, the Wasila intermediary is anything which causes closeness to and the meeting of one's needs before Allah Ta'ala. It is permissible to make tawassul with Rasul Ikram, that is, to make our Master Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wasila in the presence before Allah Ta'ala and ask for his help and intercession. This is something which has been performed by the Prophets, alayhum salam, the Salafis Salihin, the early Salmans, scholars, and other Muslims. No Muslim deemed it as an evil deed, till now, except for those with a corrupt creed. There have been none who would not accept this. Wa alaykum salam.